Hey there, YouTube. This is Mr. Luwufu, and it's that time again for my complete set review. Uh, again, like for all other times I have recorded this, the focus is on helping you guys rock the pre-releases. So that's what the focus is going to be on. Uh, I'm not going to attempt to evaluate cards for constructed or anything. Just going to focus on the pre-release, which if you recall is four... Uh, Fate Reforged packs, one Cons of Tarkir, and one Seated Booster. Anyway, let's go ahead and hop in with White. First, we have Abzan Advantage, target player, Sacked an Enchantment, Bolster 1 for 1 and a White. Uh, sideboardable, don't, don't play it main board. There's not enough good enchantments to do it. Next, we have Abzan Rune Mark, 3 mana, Enchant Creature, gets plus 2, plus 2, and has Vigilance as long as you have a control of black or green permanent it is part of a cycle i don't like any of the cycle too easy to get two for one next we have absent sky captain it's a four mana two two flyer which in itself is not terrible um not a, there's not a lot of big flyers in this format unless you count the uncommon dragons um and when it dies bolstering two is not an irrelevant thing i think it's a playable common but not insane next you have erishin cleric one and a white for a 1-3 that when enters the battlefield, you gain 3 life. This card is really bad. Especially in this format. Avon Skirmishers, a 1-1 flyer for 1. Don't play it. I don't like my 1-1s for 1. Channel Harm is 6 mana instant. Prevent all damage will be dealt to you and permits you control this turn by sources you don't control. If damage is prevented, you may have it deal that much damage to target creature. This is this sort of situational removal spell that we're all pretty, you know... On, I, I don't think it's going to be that good in limited. It's completely playable, and it's far more likely to be played in sealed than anything else. But it's fog plus a bad removal spell, which in itself can't be can't be too bad. Next, you have Citadel Siege, which is just a very powerful rare. Certainly play it. Dagtar the Adamant is the same sort of way. You get to wreck all of the abzan mirror decks because you get to steal all their plus one plus one counters um and it's a four 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 with vigilance which is not bad at all dragon bell monk it's a two two vigilance for three with prowess uh certainly not a bad card at all again this format is full of two twos and if your opponent your opponent can get really sad if they try to block this guy with one of their morphs or anything um not like top tier common but certainly very playable and the strength of the deck uh the, the more spells you have, the more likely you want to be playing this guy. Dragon Scale General is a very powerful rare, so keep it. If you like, if you open it, certainly slam it. Uh, Elite Scale Guard is a five mana two three. It's so expensive. When it enters the battlefield, you get to bolster two, and whenever a creature you control with a plus one plus one counter attacks, tap target creature. So it's a very powerful effect for five mana. Like you could, if it's the only creature in play, you get a. 5 mana, 4, 5, which is not bad in this format at all. And when it attacks, you get to tap a creature. I think this effect can be really powerful, especially if you're in a strong Abzan deck. Great Horn Crushock is just a 5 mana, 3, 5. I don't like it. Honor's Reward, don't play it. Jeskai Barricade is a fine card. Not insane by any stretch of the imagination, but I think it's completely playable. Light form is insane. Getting the 2 2 flying lifelink for 3 that could get upside is very powerful. Lotus Eye Mystic, Mystics is a 3 2 with prowess, and the fact that it has 2 toughness, you know, it's something to keep in mind. But it does return an enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. So if you have some powerful enchantments like Light Form, for example, being able to, to recur them can be a very powerful effect. And if you have the synergy there, certainly play it. Mardu Woe Reaper is probably more a constructed powerhouse than it is for a limited. This format does not reward one mana two ones very much. Mastery of the Unseen is Mastery of the Insane. Card's real good. Uh, much like Monastery Mentor. Uh, if you get eight of those cards, you should probably play it. Pressure Point is basically just a cycle. Tapping a creature is oftentimes not terribly relevant. Uh... Prowess is a thing, so that is something to keep in mind. Um, but this is playable, but not insane at all. Rally of the Ancestors is... Uh, I, I don't think... 
it, it certainly can be a very decent combat trick. Like they attack with everything and then you rally the ancestors, get all your creatures back. Uh, I have to play with this card to really get a good feel for it. So I can't say much about it, to be completely honest. Sage's Reverie is a four mana. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card for each aura that's attached to a creature. So it's four mana, draw a card. And then it gets plus one, plus one for each aura you control that's attached to a creature. So it's that sort of like ethereal armor sort of effect, except it costs four. So it's it's pretty sketchy. You see this sort of enchantment sub theme running around in white, at least. Sand Blast is basically kill shot. Very powerful effect. Um, very few things can survive more than five damage, so very powerful effect. Uh, certainly strong removal spell. I'm gonna, I expect it's, it's going to see a lot of play in limited. Uh, Sandstep Outcast is a three mana two one that either becomes a three two, which not very good, or a three mana two one with a one one flyer. Also not extraordinary. It's not the best of these modal common cycle, but if you need a creature, you'll certainly play it. Soul Summons is a bear, but with possible upside. I, If it were up to me, I'd probably play almost all of them that I get, just because two mana tutus are f more than fine in this format. Speaking of two mana tutus, uh, if you open a Soul Fire Grandmaster, you'd probably just play it. It's just really good. Valorous Stance is one of the top white uncommons of the set. Uh, take it very highly if you're in drafts, or play it if you are in white for the pre release. I'm not a huge fan of Wandering Champion, just because it's a 3-1 and it just gets beaten by everything in this format, so it's pretty sad. Um, yeah, it could do, it can let you loot, but, or reverse loot. And lastly, we have Ward Scale Dragon, which is a very powerful creature. Um, they have to kill it pre-combat, because if you're attacking, they can't kill shot it, they can't deal 5 damage to it, they can't Valorous stance it, etc. So... I very much think this guy is very powerful and limited. So if you're playing him, props. Anyway, thank you guys all for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check out the other episodes in this series, and I'll see you guys next time.